because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we'll review a couple of things. This is the Treasury bond trade that we were doing. We're going to go on to small time frame now. Just do 13 minutes. You see it's starting to move pretty good. Put your stop at your break-even point now, folks, which is right down here at 13.25. If it gets back there, you don't want to have anything to do with it, okay? Now, I want to talk just a second here about the trade we had on the other day in the December soybean oil, and it's not working very well. I just want to give you a little heads up on that. There is the uh, chart for the – there it is right here. Here is the problem. You see, folks? Uh, we bought that. Let's with it. We bought it right here at 27. What happened was we had a. We went down a little bit lower. Okay. Then we rallied almost exactly to the 382 here. And if you look at this on the daily, you know this is just not acting right. So I I suggest we take a small loss here. That's 30 points. Uh, 30 times uh, six is is 200 dollars. So let's just take it out, and we'll look to buy it back. Uh, at another time. That's uh, really what I'd like to do because uh, it, it, it stopped where it should have. And with uh, what I see happening in some of these other markets, it literally scares the bejeebies off of me. And what I'll do is we've got Stan Harley as our guest right now. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into uh, uh, the Bitcoin. I want to show you folks what, what why I was so nervous about this. Now, oh, let me see if I got the right one here. Make sure everything is working okay. Hope you can understand what's going on here. Here's a Bitcoin. Uh, this is uh, on a 15-minute chart, but what I let, let's go to the hourly chart because this is the one that was the most troubling to me. The reason why is there's so many people out there. I mean, this is really a woke. Uh, all these there's a lot of young people doing this. As you can see, this thing. Let me get rid of all these, and we'll do these together, and we'll do them together. I just wanted to show you what we were watching here. This is why I was so nervous. As you see, when we have the big top up here, okay, all of the retracements that we've had now, if you, if you believe in that old little magic number, I'm not going to report it on the air because too many people. Okay, uh, there's the first magic number was uh, right there. The market goes down and makes a new low. So what you need to do is to go over and check it again from the high. This is trading view. And you'll see this one here went a little above it right here and then, ah, shucks, then came down below it. This is the one that was the most troubling for me, folks, because this thing is in a strong downtrend in a time when it is supposed to be the most bullish as it possibly can be because they're going to take half the supply off the market. Boy, oh, boy, I could tell you a story about this stuff that would uh, – one of the biggest – I'm going to tell you this story because this is important. One of the biggest things that ever happened to me was in June of uh, 1976. I was long the quietus in uh, soybean oil, soybeans, and soybean meal. Everything I could buy or anybody would listen to me, I would have them buy it over the last seven or eight months, and it had gone straight up. And the report came out of uh, the uh, USDA – on that Friday that the only soybeans that were going to be available would be in the Smithsonian Institute. I tried to get that off of Reuters, but no one would give it to me. But that was an actual thing. We didn't have the stuff that we have now. It came off machines, you know, little type uh, teletypes and stuff, you know, even ticker tapes. So we were still trading ticker tapes at that time. Anyway, uh, it was so bullish that they said the only soybeans would be available would be in the uh, Smithsonian. Well, I was long, and I kept hearing the calls in the morning. Uh, we're going to be up the limit uh, two, three days minimum in the nearby uh, the far end. He said it's limit up to, and then, oh, 15 minutes before the market opened. Well, there's some selling uh, in the far, far ends. It's not limit up, but all the others are tight. No chance of them coming off limit. Eh, five minutes to go. 
there's some selling coming into the back end. It's quite substantial. The market's backed off a little bit. We're all we're, we're come off limit just a little bit here. Oh, 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 we're oh, oh. And this I swear to God, that was Ivan Hour for uh, Conti Commodities, and he, by the time that he finished the sentence, Beans had opened, and instead of opening limit up, they opened two cents higher. And within five minutes, every single option of soybeans were locked down, and they stayed locked down for three days. So this is what I worry about when I see something like this. I have some good friends in this that, that have done incredibly well. I just think it's just really careful. So I'm going to look at this on the daily and show you the same reason why I got various stocks is the same thing that I have this. Okay, here's the daily. I'm going to move this around a little bit, okay, so we can all see it. Let me remove all the drawings here so it'll remove all this stuff here that we don't have to look at because this could be the best buying opportunity of ever, folks, because let me get rid of this one here too, okay, and remove this one, and I'll get rid of this one here because that doesn't mean anything either, and remove that. So here's what we're looking at. Here's where we were way back here in uh, January, okay? So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to do that. This could be a great buying opportunity, honest to God. There's your ABCD right here, okay? Okay, there is your 382. Whoa, stop the music, Larry, right there. There's your 382 here today, okay? Now, folks, it stopped right there. If it starts going down much below here. Now, we've completed an AB. I don't even trade Bitcoin, folks. This is the stuff that I live, live and dream. I don't even, I've never owned this stuff. I don't ever plan to. But look, there's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right there. I mean, it starts going down below here. There's trouble in River City. Okay, we already know that the S&P's broken through all those numbers. Maybe today's the low and it's going to have a heck of a rally. That much I don't know. We're going to find that out. But just be really careful here because if we get much below here, right now we're trading. Uh, where are we trading at right now? I, I think I can where, where am I tell it. We're trading at, uh, well, we're a little below it right now, it looks like. Um, I can't even tell because I don't know how to. Up oh, it's up here. <laughs> the last price was uh, uh, 50. The low has been 59678, and it's about uh, it's 6,000. 60,300. So it's it's bounced off that low and is acting pretty good. So that's a that's a pretty good chance uh, to see what we're looking at here. So that's what I'm looking at as I look at this. This is the trading view setup. Uh, I don't use any of this stuff except I can use it for Bitcoin and a bunch of other stuff. But that's really uh, all I was uh, really trying to get across here. So let's get back here to the charts that we want to be looking at. We got rid of the soybean oil. And uh, let's move on here for a little bit here. We've got we've already covered the uh, oops, soybean oil. I can take off the board here. Stan Harley will be our guest, and uh, that's going to be a good thing. We also own a, a big salute to our good friend uh, Mike Moore because boy, he absolutely nailed that uh, correction coming in the crude oil. Boy, he if you didn't believe uh, Mike, then boy, you <laughs> you have to pay real close attention because he's a pretty sharp cookie. And, uh, you know, we'll see how that's going to uh, that's going to work here. All right. Now, let's move on here for just a second. We'll take a break. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, this is why I was so bearish yesterday. Uh, you can see the 382 broke. That was yesterday's low. We broke below that quite a bit. Um, whether this is going to be the bottom day, it certainly could be. You see that we're almost at the 78% level now uh, in the S&P, which would be right about down in here. And if you take a look at what the S&P has done here today, just looking at it here on a little bit of a time frame here, you notice that we came down, we made the 1.618 expansion of that. Now we're having a pretty good rally. Now, if you believe in 382s and stuff like that, watch for to see if the market is going to have a 382 rally. And by golly, it's not very far away, right up here at about 76. Starts getting above this, and maybe it's going to be a key reversal day. But there was a place where you know, I, I really, you know how much I feel about these 1.618 numbers. They're mother god and country for me because that's where the uh, that's where the opera starts and the fat lady sinks. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's move on here. I wanted to show you the Russell too because the Russell has broken down, has made a new low, but uh, by just barely. See, there's the low that it made right there, and if you look at this, you know, on the long term daily here. Maybe this is just a fake out. This is slightly lower low, and then the market could rally from here. So there's a possibility of that. I'm not trying to stretch out, you know, uh, dreams and stuff like that. But I'm just giving you an idea of why we're why we're watching these things. Okay. All right. Now let's move on here to the gold market. I want to get this up here for a second, and I want to put this up on a 13 minute because I wanted to show, <coughs> show what was happening here. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh my goodness! Hold on. Okay, now, same thing in the gold. The gold, there was a low back here. Now, we came down and we stopped right at the 50% retracement level, folks. So now, this is a bull market. We took out the lows of yesterday. Not a big deal. How much did we take it out by? 50 cents. Wow, big deal. Well, I, I went long in the gold up in here, and uh, 
And so I tried selling it on an ABCD up here, but it didn't get it. So I bought it on this pullback here. I put my stop at break even now. And what I'm doing is I'm watching the AI program because it's been a pretty good job of picking out. The, there was the high. See, I was trying to sell it up in here. I bought it down in here. But now what I'm going to be doing is I've got my stop at break even. I'd like to see it get up here at the end of the show. I'd like to see it a little bit higher, up maybe 2390 or higher. And then I would be able to take my profit and then move on. These are the kind of things I'm going to be covering when we do the next live trading thing, which is going to be on the uh, 26th uh, of March. And so we'll be paying close attention uh, to that as we as we look at these things un unfold here. I'm going to I've got some limit binders in here to make sure everything's are going okay. I wanted to get over to the the crude oil because you remember we had Mike Moore on here. The other day and uh, he was incredibly bearish there was we tried getting filled here we missed this by uh, just a heartbeat uh, then this is the this is the mother god and mother of all patterns here folks unfortunately i was doing so many other things that today i i and this was early in the morning like at three o'clock in the morning i was trying to sleep but there it is right there this little puppy now this is an eight minute so it's taken two hours from 3 to 5.30 to make this pattern. But look at this, folks. A, B, C, D. And then what's what's it followed by? God, here I am selling this. Missed the biggest one of them all. There's a beautiful 1, 3, 5 pattern. There's 1, there's 3, and there's 5. Let's just see how close it is. Remember, it's just an 8-minute chart. But, you know, if you're trading 8-minute charts, it gives you a pretty good chance to look at. There it is. It's almost spot on. Boom, bang, boom. And bang, this is a this is a two thousand dollar move, folks. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Sometimes they look a little better than they usually do. So hey, we're having a pretty good rally here in the old stock indices. We're gonna get to that uh three eight two here. Let's take a quick look at it right here to see where we are because we're almost there right now, up here at the uh seventy six level. So watch it at seventy six. And we're going to see what happens. We've got Stan Harley coming as our guest. I've got a couple of stocks that go over because of uh, people who have been asking me about them. You'll never guess what they are. Big, big surprise. The first one is Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. And I think he's right there. Let's get it up here. See if we're still above that 67 level. Yep, we sure are. It's still held up pretty good. But if you like 382s, folks, just, just the other day, just the other day, from the high we made back in January, the 382 was, well, no, it wasn't January. It was a high that was made way back in December. Uh, excuse me. It was January. There was the high right here coming in exactly at the 382, and now it's, uh, you know, selling off uh, still quite a bit. So they don't always work, but when they do, uh, it's always, uh, you know, good to see them uh, unfold here. Now let's take a quick look here. The next one we want to see, which is Mr. Tesla. They sure have a lot of bad news about that poor dude. Maybe he's uh, – hold on one second here. We'll get this up here. Oh, I have to tell you a story too. Gosh, i got to do that. That's most important of all. we got um, Stan coming up. You know, I, I, we take care of an uh, elderly gen elderly gentleman. He's, he's 94 or soon to be 94. And uh, I took him to the pharmacy yesterday to uh, pick up his medication, okay? Now, Fred is a retired uh, naval officer, okay? Uh, well, we're getting close. We're getting almost down. Uh, it's breaking here to the downside. So we go up to the counter. It was a one-month supply. And uh, Sharon, the, the, doc, the doctor of pharmacy there, she said, uh, Fred, she said, that'll be $6,823. And I was standing there with him. I said, Fred, I said, did she just say $6,823? And she, he said, yes. I said, what is this? And it's a prescription for rheumatoid arthritis. And Fred has that. And uh, I said, Fred, I said, did you ever try to get this in Mexico? He said, Larry, he said, I can't spend the money that I have, okay? And uh, who knows what uh, we'll be looking here just a second. Uh, he said, I can't spend the money that I have, so it's no big deal. Okay, anyway, that's pretty much uh, what happened. And I said, oh, my goodness, Fred, that's <laughs> that's a toughie. Anyway, the, the good part about this, Tesla is not taken out yesterday's low yet, but it still might. It's still a little, bur a little bit early in the old ball game, so we'll pay uh, pretty close attention to that. Oh, I'm doing my radio show now. Uh, hold on, i got to tell him uh, that I'm doing my radio show. Just doing it just a second here. This is the problem here when you have friend. Uh, <laughs> 
Oh, just a second. He's asking a question, so I'll take care of that a little bit later. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the next one here. we got Stan Harley coming up. Uh, tomorrow's guest will be uh, – I don't think I'm going to be here. It's a 50-50 uh, thing. I have to attend uh, services uh, for one of our nearly departed. Uh, and it may or may not go on because uh, something's happened with some of relatives coming in. I may or may not be odds or 70% that I won't be here, but I will be here Friday. And Norm Winsk will be our guest next week. We've got uh, a couple of big ones. On Tuesday, we've got uh, Bill... <laughs> Peter Elides, and then on, on on his birthday, the 25th, uh, it's uh, the uh, we'll have a Bill Meridian on then on the 25th. Today is Arch Crawford's birthday, folks. Same birthday as uh, J.P. Morgan. Unfortunately, Arch has a very very severe brain disease, and he is uh, incommunicado. He's uh, moved to back to where his brother is, and they're taking care of him. But uh, he's in. Not in good shape. So we need some white light for a good friend, Arch. Stay tuned for Stan, the man Harley. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Stan Harley in the house. Stan, how are you doing today, my friend? Larry, I'm doing just awesome. Awesome. This is Couldn't good to hear. <laughs> what do you have for us today? Anything good? Well, you always I, do. So, well, I, I I try. I do my best. <laughs> it's more than um, the best. So. Well, thank you. Um, let's t take a look first at some theory. Um, as you know, I'm a big uh, numbers kind of a guy. Uh, my the, the thesis around my market outlook is what I call market kinematics. Kinematics is the uh, is the science of studying motion without regard to the forces behind those motion those motions. So that's what engineers do. They study the motion of a ball across a table or a rocket in the sky or a car traveling down the road. We don't care what the forces are that create that motion. We just want to study the motion itself over time, model it with equations, and then we can make some reasonable forecasts about the future. And that's what I do my very best to do with the markets. Uh, I've talked a lot on the air uh, with you and the viewers about Fibonacci numbers. Uh, I thought I would just hit them again uh, very lightly. They were first discovered, I believe, by uh, some Indian mathematicians um, back in about the second century BC. And they kind of went dormant for a while until uh, Leonardo of Pisa found them in use in the Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, his father was a customs inspector for the Italian government. He traveled with his father throughout the Eastern Mediterranean and uh, heard about this series of numbers. There they are on the screen. He uh, put a, uh, he authored a book, uh, not so much about these numbers, but more about advocating the use of the Hindu Arabic system, which he believed was vastly superior to the Roman numeral system, which was then in effect around 1200 AD. And then in the last chapter of the book, he talked about this numerical sequence, uh, the rabbit problem is what he referred to. And uh, these numbers uh, were later named Fibonacci by um, a, uh, a French mathematician. And we now call them the Fibonacci numbers in the Fibonacci series. So I make a lot of use of these numbers uh, in my work. Here are the numbers and here are the equations that define it. It's a quadratic equation. Uh, the solution, square root 5 plus 1 divided by 2 is 1.618. That's the ratio function. And there's a formula that defines a numerical sequence. I won't go into that today, but there they are. There's the Fib numbers. There's a companion series of numbers that I have done a lot of work with. That's what I call the Lucas series of numbers. Uh, also found by uh, Edward Lucas, the French mathematician who gave the name Fibonacci to Leonardo. Um, he found another series of numbers wrote about them, and I studied them a lot, and oh my gosh, they do a dandy, and I mean a dandy of a job uh, in defining pivotal moves in the financial markets. So I used both Fibonacci and Lucas and kind of put them in together. Here is the formula for the Lucas series for those who care. People can take a screenshot. Of course, this is being recorded, and people can go back and look at it. We can we can get this uh, through, through your newsletter if they request it, they're yes. able to do that. Uh Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 All right. Let's. When we put all this together, what what does it do for us? Well, let's talk about the stock market. Um, let's look at some weekly data. Um, this is a weekly chart going back to 1982, a little more than 40 years. And Larry, what I have found is the Lucas series of numbers and their times two multiples. And I show the little table up here in the left hand corner. Have defined all of the high to high moves in the stock market, every single one, 100% of them. And I've wow. labeled them here. So between the October 87 low into the March 2000 high was just shy of 644 weeks. 644 from my table is Lucas 322 times two. And then each successive high, every single one, is a times two multiple of the Lucas series. So again, we had the number 398. The next high in February 2020 came within two weeks of 246, which from my table is Lucas 123 times two, and so on and so forth. Every single high. Now, if this phenomenon 
continues. What is the next double Lucas count that would suggest a high would be coming? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> Stan, the I'm answer a, is I'm a, I'm a believer Lucas, in these Lucas numbers. You've been yeah. you've been doing this oh, some I terrific do. dates. So I do. Yeah. Lucas seventy six times two is the next one you can see over here in my table, and that happens to line up with November the twelfth of twenty twenty four. So you know we got a few months to go, but should the pattern continue, and it may not, but if it does. The inference is, is pounding the table here. We could see a major stock market high this November. Okay, so you, you think that the high we put in so far will be taken out? I do, yes. Okay. Yes. Can you, tell us not, the time of the, can you tell us the time of day it will be taken out, or is that a little too much to ask? Uh, well, no, we can begin <laughs> <into> that. <laughs> hey, they ask me this all stuff all the time. I don't know the answer to these questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's drill it down. Let's look at the weekly chart again, but let's go back to just 2018 through the present. And then on a shorter time span, uh, what I have observed is the market tends to make significant lows nominally about every eight months or 34 weeks. Both of those numbers, parentheses, hush, 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 quiet secret here. Those are Fibonacci numbers also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that cycle expands and contracts, but uh, nominally it's right at 34 weeks. And I show the next low due right around June 24th, give or take a day or two. Of course, before we make a low, we got to make a high. All you know, right. So let's let's get into that, shall we? Let's look at the daily data. In fact, even before we get into that high point, let's just look at what's going on right now, right here as you and I speak. Mm -hmm. um, I ran this off shortly before coming on, and what I've done is I put in all of the dominant lows going back to the 2022 low in October. And I used as the zero point of the analysis, July 27th, 2023, which was that eight month, 34 week primary cycle high in the stock market. The Dow actually topped three trading days later, but utilizing the S&P, uh, this is what I'm utilizing as my zero point. And I've gone forward in time and backward in time from that date, utilizing the dominant Fibonacci ratios and then I plug all of those into a spreadsheet, turn the crank, and it says, whoa, April 17th, today. Um, so wow. the analysis would suggest uh, right in here, plus or minus a uh, couple, two or three trading days, we should be looking at a significant trading cycle low. And I think we're there. We're <laughs> the analysis says April 17th. Of course, time will tell. Uh, we won't know until after the fact. but. Uh, I'm very watchful for a low occurring right here on this date. Uh, it may have already occurred. Don't know, but we're close. Well, I stay, hear the music. Stay, stay with us. Yeah, we got a few bills to pay. This is. Uh, oh. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. 
But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We're with Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stan, I have a question, and that is, or, or I don't, one of our listeners happens to have one, and that is, is there a, um, let's put it this way, a time when the Fibonacci ratios and the um, Lucas numbers are exactly the same. It, does that ever occur? And, and does it mean very much? Uh, well, <clears throat> good question. What I do is I look for a clustering effect. So uh, if I get a clustering of Fibonacci and Lucas counts within a narrow time window, that tends to reinforce my thesis. Um, but having said that, let me make also a second comment, and that is, in my experience, Fibonacci counts from highs and lows are best used along the diagonal. That is, if I want to forecast a high, I tend to look at a prior low and count Fibonacci numbers. Fibonacci numbers tend to work best in measured moves from low to high or high to low. So on the, pri the, price ac the price axis? No, 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 not price. I'm talking about time. So if you've got a low date into a high date, those tend to be uh, uh, a component of the Fibonacci series or the times two Fibonacci. Moves from high to high, low to low, more often than not, tend to be a function of the Lucas number series. Um, and what I've just said is probably about a 90 percent. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll uh, give listen, you some examples. I'm, I'm not going to argue. Uh, they're saying at TFNN your screen is not coming through. Is Could you double check to see if uh, – there it is. Now we can see okay. it. At least I can see it. Let's okay. ask the folks here at TFNN if they can see it. <laughs> well, if, if, I, if I can see it, they can see it. Now we have it. So we're in good shape. Oh, oh wow. Oh, this terrific. is really – holy cow. Wow, this is really well, interesting. Here's the here's my analysis that we were just talking about a little bit ago. And uh, – Let's take today's low and add 21 Fibonacci number, Fibonacci trading days. 21 is a Fib number. That gets us in the vicinity of May 16th, plus or minus, which is where I'm looking for an intermediate high. Now, if we add the Lucas number 47 to today, that gets us in the vicinity of June 24th, which is when I'm expecting a low. So Fib numbers on the way up, Lucas numbers laterally, low to low or high to high. Okay. Okay. And then another Fibonacci number I'm sure a lot of folks uh, are aware of is the number 144. I know you use that a lot in your work. Yep. If you take today and you add 144 trading days, you get November 12th, 2024, which is when I'm expecting wow. a major market top. 
Now, tomorrow I might change my mind. <laughs> next, week, <laughs> next time you have me on, I might say forget about that. Well, I, but I right now, that. that's how it works. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough for me. Uh, but by changing the mind, that's what trading is all about. you got to control the risk because, you know, we don't have any control over what's going on in some of these markets. That's absolutely for sure. Stan, well, I, I do a lot of analysis, and I, and I take, the, take the risk of putting my views out on the air. Sometimes they pan out, sometimes they don't. Um, and that's the risk we all take. A lot of people in this business don't like to do that because they don't want to be proven wrong. I understand that. But uh, I put it out there and let the tomatoes fly if they will. Um, just that, that's, that's how I am. <laughs> well, you do a darn good job at it, my friend. So keep, keep working with what you're doing. That's well, for sure. It, it, it's, a, it's an evolutionary process. Every day, you know, something, the market throws me something new, and I go, oh, wow, okay, you got me on that one, Ms. Market, and I won't let you do that again. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's, let's, I know until the music plays, I think we have a little bit of time, so. Uh, well, let's we got a, plenty of time, plenty of time. Okay. So just, uh, um, let's take a little snapshot of Bitcoin. Tough animal to analyze. Um, here is my, whoops, there we go. Here is my monthly chart of Bitcoin. And this is a busy chart, so I'll leave it up there. Folks are welcome to take a screenshot of it um, or view it again in the recorded version. But uh, good old Mr. Lucas comes to play uh, every single market peak. This is, a, uh, this is current right through the present time frame. This is a log chart, by the way. Makes it a lot wow. easier to see. Goes back to the very first day of trading in July of 2010, all the way through today. And uh, Bitcoin has a tendency to make spike tops and rounded bottoms, which is just the opposite of what the stock market does. The stock market tends to make rounded tops and spike bottoms generally. But that's the complexion we see in, in, Bitmark, in, in Bitcoin. Uh, now, here's where it gets interesting. Every single top of significance, every spike top in Bitcoin can be defined by the Lucas series or its times two multiple just like with the stock market and other markets. So what I've done is I put the zero point at the first high that occurred after training began in July of 2020. And that high was on June the 8th, 2011. And then backward in time and forward in time, the Lucas series, and this we're talking months now, uh, has defined every single peak, 100% of them, without exception. Uh, uh -huh. The last one occurred uh, in the vicinity of 123 months from that date, that marked the November 2021 high, plus or minus two months. Um, and now we are at the point where we are Lucas 152, which is Lucas 76 times two, 152 months from that date lines up with April. So we, we saw a high in Bitcoin a few weeks ago. Could that have been it? Sure, it could have. Uh, we're certainly right in the heart of the envelope. Um, and... Uh, some of these relationships, uh, well, actually all of them so far on the monthly charts have worked out today. I suspect that this one won't be any different. So what's my message here? Uh, we're in zone. We're in the zone based on the monthly analysis for a significant high in Bitcoin. Okay, well, we're going to certainly pay attention. I have, have you ever done a, any, a transaction on any of the Bitcoins or blockchain stuff? Uh, um I never have, and I checked that box on my SCED D for the income tax. Uh, no, um, <laughs> ne never have. I analyze it for the newsletter, uh, but have I ever traded Bitcoin? No, never okay. have. Not that I yeah. couldn't, but I just my hands are full of the stock market. <laughs> yeah, well, you do that. You you know, like the man says, you should uh, work with something you understand, and you certainly. Yes. Do a great job understanding this. Listen, we're going to have you on again really soon, and uh, you know, stay well, you know, keep safe, and uh, I hope everything's well. Tell Giselle I said hello. Hope you get back here and have dinner with you again someday, my friend. It was a lot of fun. Absolutely, look forward to it. You bet. Stan Harley, folks, the Harley Stock Market Letter. So we're going to take a break here, and uh, oh, when the break is not ready yet, Stan, you still there? Tell the I'm folks. I'm still here. How, tell the folks how they can uh, reach you. Oh, you know, cool. as far as, uh, sure. you know, where they can uh, uh, yeah, subscribe to the letter and stuff or get information oh, from you. Screen. Here it is on the screen again. Uh, okay. There's my contact information. Okay. Well, that sounds great. Listen, thank you so much for being with us, and we'll have you on very, very soon. Okay, my friend? My pleasure. Look forward to it. Okay.
Okay, folks. I remember, folks, tomorrow, uh, they're probably 60-40 that I'm going to be here. But the main thing that we want to do is Friday we have Norm Winsky, and Norm has always got some great stuff in here. So we'll uh, pay attention to what Norm has. So let's uh, stay with us here. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'll bring this up again. Uh, Stan said that, uh, you know, there's probably critical bait coming here in the market and stuff, but we need to pay attention because if this thing starts to break and they're waiting for this halving thing, whatever that means, and uh, all I know is uh, about having is Matt Turney says uh, the worst clan he ever had was a man who was married four times. The first wife took 50 percent. The next wife took 50 percent. By the time he got to the third wife, there were no more percentages to take. So that's what having is all about. So be really careful. Below 59,000 in this would really be like the low today has been 59,781. Uh, we're currently trading at uh, 59,000. Uh, oh, I can't even tell. I can't even tell what the price is, so I shouldn't say. I, the only reason I'm using this, folks, is because so many people, you can see the 382 at the bottom here from this one right here, so that does work. 
So if this holds right here, this is a this is a monster. This is this is where you this is where you play the game right there. You buy the darn thing. If it drops two thousand points, you're out. But when I oh boy, something's jumping around pretty good here. Let's move around here. We'll um, we'll be back tomorrow with our usual stuff. Let's see what we have going on, and we'll move on to the next one here. So get this up here to see where we are. And I think what's happening is uh, where is what happening here? Oh, I know what it is. We went above. We went above the 61% retracement here, above the 382, folks. This is actually a uh, a pretty good uh, sign that this market market's got a, cha a chance to turn. So maybe this is a big day down here at this level right here. So uh, that it, ba it backed off for about uh, 10 points, but then it's re retraced back up. So uh, that's a good one. Uh, the other good news was, let me see, where is the gold one? I think the gold, we just made our profit objective into gold while we were on the air here. And uh, we'll see you on the flip side uh, tomorrow, hopefully. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.